It looks like the developers behind Klein have been quietly working behind the scenes to deliver what might be one of the biggest updates to the coding agent in a long time. But quickly, if you're not familiar with Klein, it's an autonomous coding agent built directly within your IDE, whether that's VS Code, Cursor, or even Windsurf or any other IDE you may have. It's something that is capable of creating, editing files autonomously, executing terminal commands, browsing the web, and so much more, all with your permission each step of the way, or having it so that it can fully autonomously operate. And now Klein has gotten a massive new power boost with a new free model integration. You have support for Claude code as well as Gemini CLI, optimized performance, and a ton of other improvements. So let's dive straight into all of these new updates. Now, when I say they have been working quietly, they truly have been as there are so many new releases since I last made a video on Klein because I believe the last update was on 3.15 and now we're already on 3.18 with a lot of new small updates. So let's get started. First up, we got the brand new Gemini CLI, which was just released by Google. This is a completely free open source command line tool that gives you access to some serious coding power right from your terminal. And now Klein developers have officially integrated Gemini CLI as a provider inside Klein. So what this means is that you can seamlessly use Gemini CLI directly within Klein. And this is where you're gonna be able to get access to a thousand free requests per day. And this is with the Gemini 2.5 Pro and the Flash models. So as long as you're logged in with your personal Google account, you're going to be able to now access it within Klein, which is absolutely amazing. Now, one thing that they have said is that before you actually start using it, make sure you've actually installed the Gemini CLI tool and make sure that you're logged in through your Google account so that Klein can then readily access it directly within its terminal. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Next up, Klein has been fully optimized for Claude 4 family of models. The developers have fine tuned Klein's performance and one of the biggest improvements is the drop in diff edit failures. So this is where from 10% down to just 6% in production. That's a pretty significant boost in reliability when you're working with complex code edits. So you can see that it is based off of the production telemetry data. And because of these updates, the team has officially recommended using the Claude 4 family of models over the older Claude 3.7 Sonnet, obviously. And this way you're gonna be able to get better accuracy, smoother edits, and a much more stable coding experience. Now, these improvements that we saw were largely thanks to Klein's internal evaluations using what they call hard mode edif edits. And this essentially is a tougher benchmark that really pushes the system to handle more complex real world coding scenarios. And the results, as we saw, is that Klein's diff edit success rate jumped from 64.4% to an impressive 84.3 percentage on these hard mode tests. So this is where you're going to be able to save a lot more in terms of the token expenditure. It's going to be a bit more reliable and more precise with the generation. Next up, Klein now has self-knowledge. This is a game changer because Klein can now use the web fetch tool, which is available through Claude 4 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. And this is to pull information directly from its own documentation to answer your questions about how to use Klein effectively. For example, you can ask it something like, when should I use the new task tool in Klein? And Klein can then fetch the answer for you in real time. So you don't need to actually dig through docs yourself. Klein can now help you learn itself and work better with the actual coding assistant. And a part of the 3.18 release, there are a couple of under the hood upgrades that you should know about. This is where they've resolved a couple of issues with the Claude for Sonnet. And now they have made it so that it's the default and recommended model to use for the best overall performance. There is also a race condition fix in the plan and act mode. So whenever you're switching, it's going to be able to make the task transition smoother as well as more reliable. There's also an improved robustness in search and replace parsing. So this way your edits are now more accurate and less prone to errors. 
Now, next up, we're going to be moving on to the 3.17 update. And there's a lot to this because they have added new model providers. And this is where they have integrated the SAP AI core. And essentially, you can now connect client to both Claude and GPT model providers via SAP AI core. They have now also introduced Cloud Code which is now integrated within Klein. So if you've got the Anthropic Cloud Code CLI tool, it is something that you can now use directly as a provider inside Klein. With these new upgrades, there's also more control over your terminal. This is where they have added the much needed terminal customization feature to give you more control and a smoother experience. So this is where you can set the default terminal profiles. This is where Within Klein, in the settings, you can automatically use your preferred shell by setting a default terminal profile in the settings. You also have output size constraints, and this is a new feature that helps prevent slowdowns from noisy or overly verbose commands by limiting the output size. This keeps your workflow fast, responsive, and even when running bulkier scripts. What's also great is that they have made the Croc model free and available, and you can access Croc 3 completely free through the client provider. This is a pretty decent model. It's not the best coding model, but it's something that you can use for code generation as well as for different edits across your code base. Now, in terms of new MCP servers, they have added 35 new servers to the marketplace, and this is massively expanding what you can control using natural language. They have added AWS servers. They have added Dynamo uh, DB as well as Cost Explorer. So definitely explore through the new servers because this is something that will definitely help you out as well as helping you interact with different data structures through these services. And aside from that, there's a lot of small new edits like bug fixes and a lot of small features added to the UX that I can't really highlight everything because there's a lot of smaller things that are added to all the different components to client. But overall, you can see they have been working quite regularly to improve this overall. And it has become a pretty good option as your pair AI programmer or AI software engineer that you can use on various sorts of tasks. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's essentially it for today's video on the new Klein updates. They have done a great job and I highly recommend that you take a look at it with the links in the description below. You can simply go ahead and download it through whatever ID you may have through the VS marketplace. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you join our newsletter, our private Discord, as well as following me on Twitter because this is where I'm going to be posting a lot of regular AI updates. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.